this is one special day that belongs to a special six-year-old girl battling leukemia. Spider Mabel had to rescue Oilers captain Andrew Ferentz, and in doing so, she fulfilled her dream of being a superhero. Brianna Carsten Smith following her adventures, and uh, I was following you on Twitter today, <laughs> and I saw so many people retweeting yeah. this. What? You know, it, it galvanized not only the city, but the country. I, I mean, worldwide, we were seeing people even uh, across the pond watching this story, watching little Mabel as she fought crime. And there were people all over as she traveled the city, following clues, learning tricks, and capturing hearts. We hear that uh, Oilers captain Andrew Ferentz has gone missing. It started with a call for help. But I think if Spider Mabel is out there and you get this message, if you can come down to the mayor's office and be a part of that team. One this pint-sized superhero and her own hero How's it going? quickly answered. You know the captain of the Oilers? Um, Andrew... Ferris? Ferris, yes, Andrew Ferris, yes. He's gotten kidnapped. With clearance from the mayor. Therefore, I, Mayor Don Iveson, do hereby give Spider Mabel full access and freedom to Edmonton, Alberta's capital city in her quest and intel from police. Do you have the information you need? The daring duo was off. Spider Mabel! You go, girl. Police thought supervillain Mysterio had taken the Oilers captain and then he was spotted at the mall committing more crimes. Do we need to go in there? After following the rules. We need tickets. And flying through the air. Spider Mabel swooped in to rescue Mysterio's other hostage, Black Cat. With that, the duo became a trio. With some superhero training under their belts and some clues dropped off by Mysterio himself, they headed for the zoo, where Lucy the Elephant provided their last clue that helped Spider Mabel save the day. With Mysterio headed for jail and the Oilers captain safe, it was time to celebrate. Not just a job well done. She did awesome for her first mission. She got the guy, she followed the clues, and at the end, we gave him to the police. It's a wrap, folks. Right? A lot of fun. And we had fun. But a more personal battle almost won. She's going to be finished her treatment uh, end of November, so it's just about there. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. So Spider of Mabel ended the day with a celebration at the zoo, and festivities continue. The high-level bridge will be read for her tonight, and to thank her for her hard work, the Oilers have invited her to drop the puck at their game tomorrow. Here we go. Oh my god, the rock and roll has started. The cameraman's filming. They're going a perfect speed. Oh my god. Whoa. There's a wind blowing in her hair. There goes the number one trend in Canada right now. The amazing spider.
the determination in her eyes. Wow! That's the most awesome thing ever. This number one celebrity in the world is Spider Mabel. Man, you should be in a natural movie. <laughs>
And an amazing story of strength. Gord Steinke. Good afternoon. Well, a super villain infiltrated our city this morning and kidnapped Edmonton Oilers captain Andrew Ference. Now, thanks to the Children's Wish Foundation, the pint-sized superhero was able to spring into action. Tom Vernon has a story. Edmonton's smallest superhero was able to save the day today. Six-year-old Spider Mabel woke up this morning to see the news and find out that Oilers captain Andrew Ference had been kidnapped by a supervillain, and she was the only person that could rescue him. The day started by her going to City Hall to meet with Mayor Don Iveson and a special superhero helper, that being Spider-Man. Here's a little bit of background about Spider-Man. Well, two years ago, she was diagnosed with leukemia. While she was going through her treatment, she passed the time by reading comic books. And her favorite superhero was, of course, Spider-Man. She liked his sense of humor. She liked how smart he is, and she liked that he was nice. So. He helped her out. They went to police headquarters. They came here to West Edmonton Mall. They did the zip line for superhero training at the World Water Park. And there they rescued Black Cat. They did more superhero training in Galaxy Land and they found out the villain, Mysterio, was the gut thereafter. He dropped the latest clue. The big battle at the end was at the Edmonton Valley Zoo where she defeated Mysterio and was able to save the Oilers captain. spider Mabel's family says today has just been absolutely wonderful. We couldn't ask for anything more this is so far beyond what we were hoping for that it's just amazing it's an opportunity for her to just forget about the hospital forget about procedures uh, just be a kid again to uh she she loves this she loves the spotlight as the day wore on the crowd supporting spider mabel got bigger and bigger she got some support from some other oiler players as well it really was a thrilling day for the six-year-old tom vernon global news edmonton and Oilers captain Andrew Farron says he had faith he'd be saved once he heard the rumors that Spider Mabel was in town. He was very happy to support the cause. You see a smile on a kid's face, it's, you know, you can't put a price on it, especially somebody that's gone through uh, a pretty tough time like her. So, I mean, yeah, it's just so great for our city to, to support her like this and, and for her to know she has an entire city behind her. Still more work to do, though. Spider Mabel will drop a puck at tomorrow's Oilers versus Arizona game. Right and she will also appear on our morning show tomorrow. Now, Spider Mabel's captured, has captured the hearts of not only Edmontonians, but people right across the country. She's the sweetest superhero around, and the support for this crime fighter has just been amazing. I just want her to feel like a hero and know that we're behind her and she's a fighter and, and she's got us on, on her side. We had just saw it on Facebook and we were super excited. We saw the Bat Kid in the States and we thought that was such a cool thing. And so we just love the idea of making somebody's wish come true. I think this is an example of a community rallying together. Uh, she's doing a wonderful thing today. This is a dream of hers and it's going to be realized. And I think that Edmonton needs to be a part of that. In, in any way, shape, or form they see possible. So heartwarming for us. We, we know there's a lot of power in a wish, and we usually say a wish can touch about 100 people, but this is one of those wishes that's really going to impact the whole community. It sounds like it's even spreading across the country, and hopefully even further than that, it's amazing how, how many people it's inspired and, and really touched by the power of a wish. You're watching the early news on Global Edmonton. A new crime fighter took to the streets of Edmonton today. She's tiny and young, but fierce and very brave. Her name is Spider Mabel, and the whole city is behind her. Reed Feist has the story. Mabel Tuke is Edmonton's only hope of finding one of its heroes, and a whole city is watching. This is Joanne Nugent reporting live. It all starts with a plea from police to rescue Edmonton Oilers captain Andrew Ferentz, who's been kidnapped. But I think if Spider Mabel is out there and you get this message, if you can come down to the mayor's office and be a part of that team and lead us towards safety and getting our captain back. That got the six-year-old Spidey senses tingling and answered the call with a little help from her costume crusader hero. How's it going? Good. The two set out, first getting instructions from Mayor Don Iveson. The suspect was wearing a purple cape with a bubble over his head. And whereas the city of Edmonton needs the help of a brave recruit willing to bring this rogue to justice. A big request for a brave little girl who's battling bad guys and her own battle. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And during those treatments, Mabel passed the time reading Spider-Man comics, dreaming about her own adventure. The Children's Wish Foundation made it come true. Spider-Mabel, Spider-Mabel. Her own custom.
customized song, just some of the arrangements made to make Spider Mabel's day. Because he's my favorite superhero. Why is he your favorite? He's soft. As she unraveled every clue at each stop, Edmontonians were there to cheer her on. Mabel's parents can't thank everyone involved enough. Absolutely incredible. We couldn't ask for anything more. This is so far beyond what we were hoping for. Distractions like this are the best medicine. Her treatments will be complete in November, and doctors say the prognosis is good, but it's been hard on everyone. It's an opportunity for her to just forget about the hospital, forget about procedures, uh, just be a kid again. One with superhero powers who sleuthing saved the day. A crime-fighting hero who's even braver when her mask comes off. Catch this face, just the flies look up, here comes the spider Reed Feist, Global News. And that is Global National for this Monday. Tonight's Air Canada is St. Catharines, Ontario.